Towards the end of 1989, a great box of documents arrived at my office without any indication where they came from. And I opened them and um, found in it a complete set of Monsanto files, particularly a set of files dealing with toxicological testing of cows who've been given RBGH. BST, trade name Posilac, is being used in more than a quarter of the dairy herds in the United States, according to Monsanto. The milk has been drunk by a large portion of the American population since the Food and Drug Administration declared it safe for both cows and humans for years. And at that time, Monsanto was saying, there's no evidence whatsoever of any ad adverse effects, we don't use antibiotics, and this clearly showed that they had lied through their teeth. The files described areas of chronic inflammation in the heart, lung, kidney, spleen, also reproductive effects, also a whole series of other problems. It's the most comprehensive independent assessment of the drug concludes that BST results in unnecessary pain, suffering and distress for the cows. This is not acceptable for a drug designed simply to increase milk production. It is a silly product. We have a, the industrial world is a wash in milk. We're overproducing milk. We are actually have governments around the world who pay farmers not to produce milk. So the first product Monsanto comes up with is a product that produces more of what we don't need. Of course, you'll want to inject Pozolac to every eligible cow. As each cow not treated, it's a lost income opportunity. But the problem was that use of the artificial hormone caused all kinds of problems for the cows. It caused something called mastitis, uh, which is a very painful uh, infection of the udders. When you milk the cow, if the cow has bad mastitis, some of the, and I don't know how to say this in a, you know, I hope people aren't watching at dinner time, but the pus from the infection of the udders ends up in the milk and the somatic cell count, they call it, the bacteria count inside your milk goes up. There is a cost to the cows. Uh, the cows get sicker when they're injected with RBGH. They're injected with antibiotics. We know that people are consuming antibiotics through their food. And we know that that's contributing to antibiotic resistant bacteria and diseases. And we know we're at a crisis when somebody can go into a hospital and get a staph infection and it can't be cured and they die. That's a crisis. Bad for the cow, bad for the farmer bad potentially for the consumer the jury is out we see a lot of conflicting evidence about potential health risks and of course as a consumer my belief is why should i take any risk